15 million dollars. How dare they? I are you kidding? Welcome everyone. Welcome to my first review of any movie ever. And for those who know of you who know me, y'all know it had to be this movie. Woo! Okay. I saw, I finally saw Godzilla Minus One. And you know, look at this damn shirt. Like, I mean, I should have worn this shirt. Honestly, this movie is a, a really well-crafted story. And again, I, I will say this too. It it also comes really close to surpassing the original Godzilla, really. And it's not even because of Godzilla. Godzilla's a side character in this movie. Like, can you believe it? I don't think I've ever seen a good Godzilla movie where he was actually the side character. Godzilla says that I should learn to fight my own battles, you know. You're worried more about the human characters, as I'm sure everyone has said. But you care about these humans so much, it, it makes you wonder why they, why these people thought that the characters in, in the legendary Godzilla movies would hold a candle. But... These characters, you really care about them, especially the main character, because basically he, he struggle. A lot of his struggle that he goes through is not only for him, but for his makeshift family. That's all I could say about that. It, it's set in World War II Japan, like right after World War II, after they bombed the place. You know, also, it's really weird. I don't think they even say that they dropped the atomic bomb. They just say U.S. bombing raids. And I'm like, um, it's a little bit more than that, but okay. But yeah, I mean, it seemed like Japan was like, it seemed like they didn't want to mention the actual atomic bombings. And it was, that's really weird. But I mean, whatever mystery that they can use to promote the story is fantastic. They just go along with the absolute uh, master class storytelling that they, they put in this movie. It's it's really fantastic. I have not seen a good movie like this in a really long time. I, I just realized I haven't been to the movie theater pretty much at all this year. This is like the first time I've been to the movies at all. It, it's it's really a great time to be had because I just I nearly forgot how, how fun it is going to the movies with family. I brought my family to see this movie. It was th this movie was utterly fantastic. You know, this movie was honestly almost too good. Like, Godzilla Minus One might be the best Godzilla movie I've ever seen in my life. I mean, there are a couple of few. Yeah, when I say that, by the way, uh, there are still movies that I like above it. Like, the original Godzilla is still... It, it edges out. I gotta watch it again. This movie is starting to look a little better because of the heightened graphics. And like I said, $15 million? You did it only with $15 million when... when Every Marvel, every movie in Hollywood is uh, is completely, you know, just like they use millions and millions of dollars to still have shitty uh, special effects regardless. I mean, I didn't even watch the Marvels yet, but even still, I bet you that, that uh, most of the Marvel movies are have been bad. I remember watching Black Panther especially with, with terrible CGI effects and nothing, there, there was nothing in this movie to match the badness of any special of any poor special effect even though i'm not a kind of guy who decides to say oh all these marvel movies and all these movies uh, are are so bad compared to everything but yeah they're, they're really not that bad this movie was absolutely fantastic and it was great to just watch this movie with my my family because i turned my nephew into a godzilla fan and he went nuts I Especially at this scene. Yeah, that scene was amazing. He he went, he goes like, whoa! <laughs> the movie is also like the the first Godzilla movie where I actually really cared about the human characters. Because even still, I remember ever since I was a little boy, even in the Japanese movies, let's not forget that even in the Japanese movies, they're, they're boring human parts in it. I don't understand why this has just been 
specifically tailored to the MonsterVerse. But I remember when I was a kid, all I would do was fast forward. I, I'm sure I'm not the only one who rented Godzilla movies at Blockbuster Video or Hollywood, stu Hollywood Videos. Because, I mean, everybody keeps saying that th these movies weren't available until they were out on DVD in like the early 2000s. I'm like, are you guys smoking crack? The, again, $15 million went into these special effects, and yet maybe there are only one, maybe two scenes where Godzilla looked a little janky. But even still, for $15 million? No. I mean, Hollywood really has some some catching up to do, because if they can be outdone by a Japanese foreign movie that was made for $15 million, and keep in mind, the last Godzilla movie was this. Hollywood, you, you gotta get your head out of your ass. Uh, I, I can't sing this movie's praises enough. And, you know, ironically, I never even got to watch the ending. I still have to watch the the absolute ending, the, the, the part where they find Nuriko, because my nephew and, and my girlfriend spoil it uh, uh, for the end, but I never got to see it. And this movie's been really hard to torrent, so I, I, I can't really... I haven't watched it yet, but even still, this movie just hit all the right notes. It's even a combination of Jurassic Park, uh, Jaws, and a Godzilla movie. Because, I mean, and those are some of, all of those are my favorite movies. Got Jaws, I, I have, I literally have a, see? I have an original Jaws poster. I need to frame this. Like, it hit all the right notes. Like, and, and also, I, I'm even gonna say this right now too, but the, the scene when, when they were watching, when they, when they were just running away from Godzilla, <laughs> In the water, I wanted to play this music so bad. Oh, boys, I think he's come back for his noon feeding. This Godzilla movie was amazing. They always do this though. They always tease a Godzilla sequel. They've been doing that a lot for the Millennium series. What is this new series, by the way? Is this even the Millennium series or is this uh, a different series? Is this still part of Millennium? I don't know. Uh, because the only other movie that we have is Shin Godzilla. And that ended with a cliffhanger as well. And honestly, I still wanna see that, that ending. So, yeah, um, hopefully we actually get a sequel to this, but if they leave it the, that way too, I'm actually, no, people are going to be pissed because this movie is so popular now. No, this movie, I, I'm going to say it right now, best movie of the year, best movie of the year. Fight me on that because they, they, there hasn't been a good movie. I, I know I haven't seen Oppenheimer. I haven't seen the Barbie movie. But come on, do you really think that those movies are going to stand up? But, you know, you know what they're going to do. The Academy is just going to vote for Oppenheimer. What are you going to do? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And remember, please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content. And subscribe if you think I deserve it. And I'll see you on the next episode.